Please welcome Marina Franklin. Hi. Oh, hey, everybody. It's really good to be here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah thanks. I'm, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm single, so it's good to be out and looking for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I am single. Mm -hmm. And I'm very, <laughs> very angry about that one. <laughs> Trust me, because um, I, I just, I, uh, I've made some mistakes, you know, like, I used to date young. I don't mean to date young, it's just I aged well. <laughs> and they come at me. <laughs> Seriously, I'll just be hanging out at the GameStop and they just come into my life. <laughs> That's where I hang out. And I'm like, you want this? <laughs> come and get it. <laughs> He was too young for me, though. It was exhausting. Being a cougar, by the way, is not all it's cracked up to be in, okay? <laughs> this guy was always awake, <laughs> just looking at me like, what next? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> Take a nap. <laughs> he didn't understand the beauty of a nap. He had a really nice apartment, though. That's important. In New York City, if you get a guy with a nice apartment, you got to hold on to that. Okay, I'm a feminist, I am, but I tap out. <laughs> like, I believe in equal pay, but I also believe in his pay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Let's fight for both. His pay, my pay, but more his pay. His apartment was really nice, but I remember one time we got in a fight there because his hormones, you know, he was always angry about something. And he looks at me and he's like, I'm going to sleep in the other room. I was like, oh, you have another room? <laughs> that is hot. <laughs> this is going to work out? Because my apartment is very small. It's a true New York apartment. If I get angry in my apartment, I just, I angle myself like this. <laughs> it's not right. It's not right. He was white, by the way. Uh, that's something we're doing. <laughs> I date the brothers too, you know. The economy's getting better, so I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm going back. I actually went on a date with the brother, uh, black guy, just in case. <laughs> you know, but I was off. It had been a long time, and I should have segued back, you know. Uh, maybe dated a brother on a skateboard, you know. <laughs> maybe a brother that listens to NPR. <laughs> Something light. Because this brother was rough. And on the date, I felt like a white girl <laughs> dating a black guy. Like, I called him to come pick me up on the date. He got upset. He's like, what do you mean? Mm? I'm going to come pick you up. Mm? You tell me where you live. You got to be specific. Mm? I got a nice car. Police could pull me over. Or you could walk. I was like, oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> Walk, like, why would I do that? <laughs> like, just as an FYI, not a walker, <laughs> right? And like, why are you so angry? Like, where does that come from? Where does it come from? <laughs> and the police are here to protect you. <laughs> Okay, some of you are laughing and some of you are like, yes, the police are here to protect you. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the joke in that? I didn't hear it, huh? I didn't hear that joke. I had a girl get mad at me about that joke because she thought I was mocking the voice too much. She's like, we don't talk like that. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> it's actually my voice because I grew up in the suburbs, white neighborhood, so I'm bilingual. I could do both. <laughs> you guys are great! Thank you so much!